What's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much for tuning in. And in case you just tuned in, this is WCWY in the morning. And I am joined by two amazing, young, talented people. All right? There's Kate Jambi and Godwin. Nye teach. Keep tall. Great. Asante Nisana, they are models, as you can see. Now it explains why I was wearing my cut my cat kitty cat hair yeah. accessory today. <laughs> I tried. I tried to get into this That's zone it. of mm. royalty and oh. majesty. Karibuni sana to white of Fifo's white in the morning. And mm. today being WCW, we try as much to, you know, talk about the woman. But you, since you joined us today, you're gonna tell us about the man and push the narrative of the boy child. So, Karibuni Sana, and I'm so curious. I just want to know, uh, the, first, the first time I got into the modeling scene, I did not mm -hmm. know how to pronounce the word pageant or pageant. So is it pageant, pageant, or? Pageant, pageant. Pageant, yeah. pageant. Yeah. All right, great. So <laughs> now you know. Uh, anyway, so I want to know from you guys, Mrs. Miss second option, right? Yes. Miss second option, what is the second option agency? What does it do? What are the duties mm -hmm. that you hold at the agency as the Miss? Thank you so much for having us. Karibu. Um, second option, very many people get, uh, they get curious about why it's called second option. Um, first of all, it's an agency that seeks to empower the less fortunate or rather to give them a platform to showcase their talent, at the same time giving, a, giving them opportunities to earn from it. Yes, so as Miss Second Option, Miss and Mr. Second Option, uh, we have our own individual projects that the agency is giving us a platform to put them out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, so individually or personally, my project is called Najikubali. Najikubali is a uh, project that seeks to empower people to be comf comfortable in their own skins, to erase this narrative of a perfect body, because we are all perfect in our own skins, regardless mm -hmm. of body size, skin, skin color, regardless of all what the society uh, terms as a perfect body, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this December, we'll be going to the streets. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking Christmas with street kids. Hold yes. up about that. Uh, hold, hold on. <laughs> hold, hold that thought just yet. All right. Uh, I want to know, mm -hmm. apart from being the Miss, mm -hmm. uh, what else do you do as Kit Jambi? I am, other than a model, I am a student. Mm -hmm. I took counseling and psychology okay. at uh, Kiss University. Mm -hmm. Actually, just graduated yesterday. Wow. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you Round so much. Round of applause, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Other than that, I sing, mm -hmm. I do design, yes, mm -hmm. I um, crochet, yes, so that's basically me. Very talented. Thank what about you, you Godwin? Uh, tell us about your initiative, your duty mm -hmm. as the minister. Okay, uh, <coughs> um, the mandates that we have, um, having been crowned, um, Miss the second option. Mm -hmm. I have a project um, that I've been having in mind that I intend to run from um, coming next year, 2022. Mm -hmm. It's called the Jenga Mwanaume Initiative. Wow. So um, my initiative basically um, targets the men in my society, mm -hmm. the men, um, let me say the men around um, in Kenya generally. So you find that um, what inspired me to um, come up with this project is because we have so many men in our society who are suffering in silence. They never come out to speak out. Um, they have nowhere to speak, um, to air out their grievances. They don't always want to be helped. That's the African man that we have. Mm -hmm. They always feel like, um, um, if I share out my problem, I'll be seen as weak, as, um, uh, as you feel like um, they've been subdued. Mm -hmm. So um, what I felt like is create a platform for them where they can come out, air out their grievances, and in one way or another, mm -hmm. they could be helped. So I had a, um, what I have in mind is creating a website where these people can access the website, air out their grievances anonymously, because some of them maybe don't want to be known, maybe don't want to be um, victimized for whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. So I want to give them a chance to um, actually bring out what they're suffering, because you find many of them, and then um, they engage in suicides, they um, do domestic violences, mm -hmm. they kill other people, 
because of their mental issues that they have that can't be solved. So that's what I plan in, uh, that's what I intend to do. And I believe I can be able to impact my men positively in my society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Uh, you've said uh, men are hiding out sort of yeah, you know, from exactly. speaking up and everything. Yeah. Why do you think this is the case? Is it an ego sort of thing or ideally men just like keeping I to think um, the African man mm -hmm. has been taught to mask the emotions mm -hmm. that if I if if I um, unlike women women event yes. women um, hey, when we like to <laughs> <laughs> women um, when they face with problems they cry mm -hmm. they vent they do all kind of um, things that will help them release and you'll find them there women are I think basically women are stronger emotionally and even mentally than the men mm -hmm. but for the man you'll feel like if i do this i'll be seen as weak men don't cry mm -hmm. it's rare cases that you find a man crying so that i'm crying i you know um therapeutically crying helps you release you after you cry you feel like you feel better mm -hmm. but for a man they want you my choice <laughs> it'll take long so i feel like um if you give them um this chance they can be helped because many are suffering in silence. True. Yeah, many are suffering in silence. Yeah. All right. Um, and what else do you do other than you know hold, uh, having this initiative that you want to okay. propel? Uh, okay. What else do you want to do, or uh, what else are you doing? Okay, I'm a, I'm a student mm -hmm. at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm awaiting my graduation coming next year. Mm -hmm. So um, apart from that, I'm a rapper. Wow. Yeah, I do rap. Um, I also do design, fashion and design. I make creative outfits. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm also, um, I, love, I love travel. I love, um, um, I also love helping people in my society in one way or another. I feel like giving back to them um, brings out the person in me. So that's basically what I do, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so Kate, uh, let me know, uh, probably just break it down to us. What does this win? for Miss Second Option, what does it mean to you? And the first time that you were crowned, mm -hmm. what did it feel like? Oh my God, that, that, that is the most memorable moment in my life. It crowned my 2021, to be honest. <laughs> so I wasn't, first of all, I wasn't expecting the win. Mm -hmm. And um, the competition was stiff. We went through so many um, challenges from the audition. So in Nairobi, we were 58 contestants. What? Yes, 58. Uh -huh. Who were there at the audition. And then after that, we were shortlisted, about six of us. And this is ideally from different counties? Yes. People are selected from different yes. counties? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So after we were shortlisted, we went through another series of challenges, online challenges, yes. So we, we, there were like four online weekly challenges. And um, what did they entail? So in the first week, it was mostly introduction. Mm -hmm. You were to tell the world about yourself, your project, and basically just introducing yourself. Mm -hmm. The next week was the culture. You were to tell people about your culture, uh -huh. yes. And then the next week, it was about your region. Being wow. from Nairobi, mm -hmm. I had to do something um, about Nairobi region, mm -hmm. uh, highlighting the you know must-go places in Nairobi and oh. all that. Yes. Dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then in the last week, it was uh, voting. Yes, so after that series of challenges, then I managed to be the representative for Nairobi. Then we went to the boot camp, a one week boot camp in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so we were there, different people, different models from different regions. We assembled in Mombasa for one week boot camp, which was wow, it was mind blowing. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot, and then yeah, so on the 27th of last month, that is when we had um, the pageant at Wild Waters. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the win for me, um, I've always believed that for you to uh, actively bring change to society, having a, a title or having people backing you up is, you know, it motivates you and pushes you forward, gives you more ability mm -hmm. to run your projects. So this win for me means that um, it's an inspiration not only for me but to other girls out there to go after what you want and um, every dream is valid yeah every dream is valid. every dream is valid all right um what about you godwin um <coughs> being crowned mr second option there are several other guys who are contesting of course uh <coughs> why, why do you feel 
did you feel like you deserved it or you were going there knowing very well, ah, me this one, <laughs> this one I've won, come uh, on me. Um, honestly speaking, um, the competition was tough. Yeah. Very tough because um, we had people from different regions and I feel like um, being a national pageant, mm. um, you get, you, we got um, to be exposed with people from different regions mm. and you find that having um, someone being picked from one region means that person has the A game. So um, being at the boot camp, um, you're, all of you guys, there was so much tension mm -hmm. building up because these guys, you see, um, this guy is better in this, this one is better in this, and you're like, where will I fall? <laughs> you don't really don't know how it's going to come out. So um, it was a big task. Um, you're in the boot camp, you're smiling, but deep down, you're so tensed. You don't know, you, you're afraid of the outcome. Mm -hmm. So I told myself, um, I'm just going to try it out, um, give out my best. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think it has a lot to do, um, there was a lot that was um, going on from the video challenges, mm -hmm. then you now get to the boot camp, you mm -hmm. have to be at your top, you're at your best, um, let me say behavior, mm -hmm. at your best behavior. There were workouts, you have to be good in workouts, you have to be a good timekeeper. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. Then you come now to things concerning the runway. Mm -hmm. When you have to perfect your work, your smile, your confidence. Then came the outfits. You also had to have uh, the best outfits for mm -hmm. the, uh, the event. So I believe all those combined, I think um, that's how I managed to be crowned. And I think um, I gave my best. All right. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot that comes with the term model, you know, because ideally you are a model of a certain being in the society, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you strike this balance between schoolwork and, you know, pageantry? Because you've done a couple of pageant work that yeah. in the span of just one and a half years. Right? Yeah. So tell us, how many titles do you have and how has it been balancing, you know, modeling, modeling career and now work and maybe just your talents um, in so school? Mm -hmm. I have about six. This is my sixth title. Um, Having, finding a balance sometimes is hard, you know, but you just have to try and make things work because at the end of the day, you have to be a model with a purpose. And having a purpose involves you being all-rounded, not only just being pageant-oriented, but, you know, having a social life, being in the books, you know, just being well all-rounded. So um, for me, I just had to balance my time. At the same time, pageants are not there all the time. You know, you can... You can also have to just balance your time properly. And then so pageants are well balanced during my whole semester. Mm -hmm. So they didn't really collide that much. Okay. Yes. All right. And what about you? How do you manage the two? Uh, Schoolwork and modeling. So I can say and that. staying fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a big of a, it's a bit of a challenge <coughs> because um, you find that um, at times you, ha you want to go for a pageant and um, you have classwork, you have exams, you have to do this. So um, I feel like at, at times you have to forego um, the pageant for school work because um, you have to also balance, you see, which one is more important than the other one. But I feel like it's just um, prioritization mm -hmm. and then um, just have your plan, have your work schedule planned out well. When you have that, I think um, it becomes easy mm -hmm. because um, I, I started modeling when I was in campus and all, all this while, um, I've been able to go for very many pageants mm -hmm. and that have been able to shape me up to the level I am now. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's just um, prioritization and um, planning yourself well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Kate, I'd like to know, um, in Kenya, mm -hmm. what is the number one thing young people are missing out on, um, according to you? According to me, mm -hmm. what is the number one thing that young people are missing out on? like? they'd have made it but like a young person in Nairobi can make mm -hmm. it but opportunity mm -hmm. yes so I feel as though if most of our young people are given the right opportunity they'd be so far in life and uh, that is why I appreciate agencies such as a second option which gives people that opportunity that platform to go after what they want you know because mm -hmm. sometimes you having the dream or having the motivation, you might have it, but it's not enough because you don't have the right platform or the right connections or the people to back you up, to help you proper gain what that, uh, whatever it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
What about you? What is the number one thing that you know young people are lacking? Um, I feel like um, the one thing that they lack is empowerment. Because you find that um, many, very many youth in our country are talented, mm -hmm. they have skills, mm -hmm. they, have, um, they have what it takes to explore in the field that they're good in. And um, I feel like um, if it's the only problem that we don't have is empowerment because um, most of them are sleeping on their talents. Mm -hmm. Not because they want to, but they don't have the resources to explore them. Mm -hmm. For example, um, me, I want to venture into the music industry in future, mm -hmm. apart from modeling. Mm -hmm. But um, we find that I have um, a number of songs that I've written that I haven't been able to produce. Mm -hmm. Reason being, um, recording and shooting the videos for this is quite expensive. And for a young person like me who doesn't have the resources, it becomes a very big challenge. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like um, having such an agency that um, incorporates new talents, um, brings in new people, I feel like they're now giving us a chance to um, actually bring out the best in ourselves. And I believe um, from their support and the support we have generally, we're going to go far. Yeah. Well, guess what? I have some good news for you, man. Okay. And the good news is here at Y254, there is an amazing deal that you can have with a place called Studio Machinani. Okay. Studio Machinani is free and you can go there and record your music for free and shoot content wow. for free. Wow. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, yay, Maze. <laughs> <laughs> there is Studio Machinani in each and every county, Mombasa, Kisumu, uh, okay, not all counties, but at least major counties, Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa, and there's one in central, Gatundu, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so try and figure out LA, Langata as well. Okay. So the one that is closer to you, just go there and, you know, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, yeah. what are the future prospects for you, Jambi? You know, now that you have this platform, mm -hmm. what do you intend to do after, you know, 2021? In 2021? No, no, what do you want to after do in 2022? 2022. Yes. Okay, so as I had said earlier, I have a project. Mm -hmm. So let me just start from this Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So Chrissy Quest Street. Yes. Uh -huh. Chrissy Quest Street. Mm -hmm. So we'll be taking Christmas to the street kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll be sharing the Christmas chair with the Christmas kids. Mm -hmm. We're planning on taking to them food, uh, clothes, you know, just making their Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter, I have my project, the Najikubali project. Yes. So it's going to have online um, programs where we'll be talking about mental health, we'll be talking about body accept acceptance, sorry. So the whole th uh, aim of Rajiku Bali is just to preach self-love. You know, encouraging people to be comfortable in their own skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yes, that is. Uh, still on you, where do you mm -hmm. think, uh, he, especially in Africa, mm -hmm. business here to lighten your skin mm -hmm. is, is so big. Mm -hmm. Like at first I never thought it was as big mm -hmm. as, you know, until I went to downtown and some <laughs> lady, you know, mafuta. really yeah, insisted <laughs> that I should buy that mafuta. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm like, me, I'm, me, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Like, in my melanin, me, I'm good. Yeah. Why do you think this business is so, uh, is so it's big? Booming. It's mm -hmm. booming, it's big. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, if right now you needed like a small business to start and mm -hmm. make a killing, trust <laughs> me. Skin lightening products, they will uh -huh. go as quickly as possible. Why do you think this is the case? And... The fact that your project is focusing on this, uh, will young people actually eventually accept themselves? Mm -hmm. How, what does it take? You know, for me, I don't know what it took. I think it took so many people telling me you're beautiful mm -hmm. in your own skin. Mm -hmm. So what do you think will take for young people, especially women, mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. that they were perfectly made and they're okay the way they are in their plus size, mm -hmm. in their dark skin? Mm -hmm. It's all good. What do you think will take for them to accept this? Okay. So, I believe that, first of all, the reason why the Mafuta business is booming is because we've been conditioned to believe that if you're melanated, you know, if you have your mm -hmm. dark skin, you're not pretty. Um, but that is that narrative is so wrong because I believe that we are all beautiful in our own skins mm -hmm. and we should embrace it. You know, either being dark skin, light skin, being thick, plus size, or whatever whatever you are, mm -hmm. you should embrace yourself because I believe that God had an intention creating it the way that He did. So, uh, as Najiku Bali, we'll be having online challenges. Yeah, we'll be having daily affirmations. 
we have an ajikubali creed so every time I, i'll be have i'll be go, I plan going to schools talking to these girls talking to you know going to uh, orphanages or children's homes and talking to these children and re reminding them that they are enough that they don't need to alter their bodies or you know change themselves to be enough because mm -hmm. as they are they are enough another question do you support the idea of writing on your social media as soon as you post a photo mm -hmm. if you've altered it you write uh, altered photo <laughs> do you, are you in support of that no <laughs> i am not like for example uh -huh. instagram is going to introduce a section where you know all this international models mm -hmm. or even celebrities who come at you, mm -hmm. they post a photo that is always photoshopped yeah. so uh, people are coming out wanasema uh, Kumbe, okay, there was a trend actually, I don't know if you guys saw it, there mm -hmm. was a trend on TikTok where celebrities were coming out to post the original photo and the photoshopped photo. Mm -hmm. So also social media companies are for the idea mm -hmm. that uh, if, for us to raise awareness and for us, for women to accept who they are, because mm -hmm. uko, uko US girls as young as 13 mm -hmm. are into surgery, mm -hmm. cosmetic surgery, mm -hmm. you know, and that's sad. Like I can't even imagine trying to, not unless mm -hmm. I'm hurt or mm -hmm. I got an accident, that's when I'll try to fix my skin. Mm -hmm. But there's a, there's a serious crisis, mm -hmm. and I think social media is to blame. Yes. Do you support the idea that people should actually write, this photo was photoshopped? Um, or you wouldn't want, you just want people to post. If it's nice, like people stick to the nice side, mm -hmm. my nice side. And that's it. Okay, I'm um, 50 50 about that because mm -hmm. I am a firm believer of doing what makes you happy. Uh -huh. If you feel that when you do that, it makes you happy, you go do it. But at the same time, it creates this fake narrative, you know, because everybody on social media or rather the children growing up believe mm -hmm. that I, if I don't have this body, if I don't have uh, that Kardashian body, I'm not enough. You know, so that is why they want to go buy those pills. They go to, you know, get that mafuta to boost their hips or whatever. Yeah, so having that uh, real versus photoshopped uh, mm -hmm. picture is going to help people see that people out there are not perfect, you know, because everybody's dealing with their own baggage and uh, everybody has, you know, that element that they're not so proud about. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. It is totally, totally okay to have an insecurity, but now dwelling on that and making it and making and uh, making it or it making you feel as though you're not enough is no is what is not right. What about you? Um, I feel like um, there's a song that says, "Do what makes you happy." Uh -huh. You know the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like uh, um, um, it's something that is kind of personal. Mm -hmm. If if uh, if I post a picture that I feel um, doesn't look so nice for me, um, I won't be able to post it because I don't. I myself don't like it. So after altering it or making it look um, maybe the way I now like it, um, it will make me happy. And um, I feel like I want people to see me in such a way. So I feel like it's something so personal. Because someone will post a picture not altered, another one will want to add all those kind of filters and stuff. So I feel like um, it's just something of personal choice. What you feel like um, this is the best that you're bringing out of myself. So I feel like. Um, it's just a personal decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go back to the agency now. Okay. Um, what, what, what tip would you give that young person who would like to join second option agency? You know, 2022. Mm -hmm. What should they look forward to? Um, what exactly? What What can you tell them? Um. So what I can tell them, um, um, the good. Um, let me say, um, the agency is bringing out a lot to the young people. And I believe um, they're giving them a chance um, to, um, to explore what they have in themselves that they haven't had um, an, a, a platform to expose them. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, the motto of the agency is grab that chance. Ah. Yeah, grab that chance. So um, I feel like um, what I'll tell them is um, never be afraid to bring out what you have. Come, um, I believe um, even not only second option agency, there are also other um, um, corporates, there are the platforms that these people can come out, bring out the best in themselves. So what I can tell them, please come out, um, be part of us, mm -hmm. 
and um, we, we, um, we with the agency could be able to help these people get to the levels they want to be. It could be a young person, an old person, a person who is married. Um, I think um, it incorporates everyone. Mm -hmm. So I feel like um, it's, it's home. For, for me now, second option is I call it home because this is where we are going to grow. This is where we're going to explore our new paths. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And second option is going regional, can I say? Other than being in the country, it's going to different other countries. Yeah. What plans do you guys have for, you know, next year? So, um, we'll be the... Uh, so, uh, we're planning, okay, or rather, the agency is planning a continental pageant. And... Um, Godwin and I are going to be the Kenyan representatives. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we really don't know much because we also are going to be part of that. We'll be contestants. So mm -hmm. <laughs> really don't know much about it. Yes, so, but we'll be representing Kenya. All right. Yeah. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. And I hope that you take this crown that you're wearing <laughs> and you spread as much word as possible. Mm -hmm. And by word, I'd like to know, um, duty is a second option other than, you know, identifying talent and making a social impact what other duties does this, the agency entail um, rather than that um, i think you haven't mentioned talent development talent development um, uh -huh. they have um, <coughs> um community um we have all this what you call the csr mm -hmm. that's um these are activities that are done monthly mm -hmm. giving back to the society so it could for be for example the chrissy Street. yeah exactly mm -hmm. chrissy streets we could um visit the physically challenged it's just basically um helping other people in our society mm -hmm. yeah. value addition to this value society. addition great yeah. now if somebody wanted to join your crew mm -hmm. chrissy mm -hmm. qua streets mm -hmm. how 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 do you go about it um there is a page you can uh, either access it via the second option page or the Najikubali page mm -hmm. yes yeah, so that we have all the details listed there at the same time we also have a till anybody who's interested in making a donation can also do that mm -hmm. we also have we'll be having at what 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 number do you guys have a pay bill or a yes, number that we do yes you give it <laughs> this is the platform <laughs> 913 oh the pay bill number is that nine is a one till two. number uh -huh. 913 930 913930. Yes. 913930. That is where you're supposed to make your donation for Chrissy Quest Streets. Yes. And if they'd like to join you, they go to the page Second Option Agency. Yes. Where do I find you on Instagram, Facebook, and the rest, Snapchat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, social media, Kate and Jambi. On Instagram, on Facebook, everywhere, Kate and Jambi. Yes. What about you, Godwin? Um, on Instagram, Mm -hmm. Godwin underscore Same to Facebook, Twitter, yeah, all, all the platforms, just the same name, Godwin underscore mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, any last words to somebody who would want to become a model one day? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I used to model, by the way. But <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at you guys now, like, you guys, mm -hmm. hey, hey, <laughs> It was amazing. I loved it, but I was discouraged because of I wanted to be a runway model, mm -hmm. but I, we didn't have like you know second option agencies <laughs> at the time. <laughs> it was either runway or catalog. Mm -hmm. So when I fell on runway, I just came on this other side, which is TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. So last words to that one person who wants to be a model. Last words: uh, Be yourself. Uh, don't let anything intimidate you. Just go for it. If you want something, go for it. And yes, you're enough. What about you? Um, what I can tell them, um, there's always something good in someone. Mm -hmm. So I believe um, when you get to know your niche, when you get to know something that brings out the best in you, never be afraid to, exp um, to bring it out. Mm -hmm. Never be afraid to be who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And my lesson from all that was Remember who you are, remember where you come from. At the end of the day, express a lot of confidence, even if you do not know <laughs> anything. <laughs> Assume you know, and yeah. trust me, by the time you get there, the world shall conform and realign. Anyways, guys, you need to come through with the second segment, or the th rather the third, actually, with Kayesu. And of course, Mazze, stick around. We will be coming in with 
some more. And I asked him if I could put on a name. I said, Godwin keep underscore keep to inst on Instagram and Kate Jambi uh, on Instagram as well. My name is Karen Jessa. This has been amazing having you guys. And of course, follow me on Instagram at Karen Kang, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you later.